Hello guys, it's Ina and today is the chanterelles day. I had a pot almost full. It's almost like four liters of chanterelles and I have picked them like a couple of days ago and if you can see they started to dry out so they kind of starts to be a little bit darkish inside. It's not a problem at all because today we're going to make a cream soup, chanterelles cream soup, delicious. And the rest of these mushrooms, they're already kind of cleaned and uh, everything has been done with them. Uh, we're going to put in the dehydrator and dry them and we could be able to use them throughout the whole winter and the year. So here on the side of me, you can see another bags of chanterelles that I picked yesterday fighting with ties. Uh, in the forest. Okay, not we didn't really have fist fighting, but it was a big competition. Who will pick the mushrooms? So half of uh, the mushrooms I have already given away yesterday to my relatives, and this is the leftovers, three and a half kilos. And I will have to spend the whole day today cleaning them and processing. Maybe I will freeze them. Maybe I will dehydrate them. I haven't decided yet. But today we will start with. Chanterelle cream soup and hoo hoo, let's go! So first of all we're going to fry uh, some chanterelles in some vegetable oil, in my case it's wraps oiler, and we're going to fry them with the onions and garlic, just to give them a bit of flavor. Okay, so I was able to fit half uh, or full of my amount of mushrooms into the pan. Is okay because the rest of the mushrooms were going to boil, and it is absolutely fine because anyway, it's a soup. Remember, so just frying or sautéing these will give us uh, a little bit of extra flavor and a little bit of extra oils and fats. So it's still good. No worries, we just put our mushrooms into uh, the water and we just boil it's our soup. There is our soup and here are our fried chanterelles and see how much water have they, gone, have they given us. Okay, I rinsed them a little bit, slightly, but still all of this delicious juice broth would be in the soup that's super nice how much water I put in the pot it doesn't matter because let it boil when it boils when they're ready we can always take away some of that water and broth so we can figure out how much we need okay so it uh, seems like i have way too much liquid here in the pan so i'm just going to fix it by pouring some of this liquid into the soup and that's it so our mushrooms so my mushrooms could just fry a little bit more. Okay, so uh, mushrooms finished frying, so they are all over there on the side. So here I actually decided to take some broth away, some water away, just because it will take too much time for my chanterelles to boil and also we are making cream soup so it's supposed to be quite thick so we don't need as much liquid and also we're going to add some cream later so it's okay but to see i'm not uh, completely throwing away like pouring away the broth because i don't know i might use it later so let's just take it away slightly so it will be easier uh, i mean it will be faster for my these chanterelles to boil i think this will be enough liquid <laughs> and this we just save because we're going to use it later we're going to add it back so meanwhile we're going to prepare other ingredients so originally you're supposed to take parmesan or region or cheese but i don't have it i have like just regular mild uh, cheese and it's actually quite old you see it's dry uh so it's fine we're just going to dice it into dice it or chop it whatever you want into smaller pieces so later we're going to add it into the cream soup and it's supposed to melt so smaller your chunks would be uh, faster it would melt and better results you would get 
So if this would be not enough, I'll just take the fresh cheese. It's okay, not a problem. Okay, so our chanterelles have been boiled. It's perfect. Uh, if you have like a good blender that you can uh, immersion blender, you can use it to puree everything. You just put, uh, mix these mushrooms with these. You add the cream and cheese and stuff, and you just puree it. If you don't have one, like I don't, I have only the plastic ninja one, so I need to wait until the hot ingredients would be not that not as hot. So I'm going to blend everything and after put together and heat again. So for me, it's a little bit longer. For you, maybe it's a little bit faster. Still, the result will be delicious. Completely forgot about uh, the potatoes that we have to boil it and puree too. So uh, right now, I very fast chop into smaller pieces of potatoes and I'm going to throw them into that uh, chanterelle soup uh, just to boil them. And uh, later, so we'll be able to puree them. I uh, wish I had an immersion blender. So in the freezer I found uh, a piece of a chunk of bacon. So I'm going to chop it very thinly. You can see there are like very, very thin stripes and these are, they go like this way horizontally, so it's fine. And I'm going to fry them later and add to the ready-made cream soup, uh, just to get like, just to add a little bit of flavor. And all of you know I'm not a vegetarian, but it could be completely vegan soup if you want. I mean, you can use a lactose-free, uh, whatever, cream or cheese or not add cheese. You can do whatever you want. It's your soup. So in my soup, there will be like extra things like bacon. I would say usually I wouldn't have uh, added it, but just because I had some in the freezer and it has been there for a very long time, I was like, okay, let's use it. And it's already kind of been into small pieces. So if you want, you can go ahead and make them even smaller to chop. So whatever you like. A little update about my forgotten potatoes. So I took all of the mushrooms, uh, both mushrooms from the, the big pot and I drained them. So this is the broth these are the mushrooms and i used some of this broth to put like in a smaller pot and uh, boil to boil some chopped potatoes like small pieces and uh, meanwhile my fried mushrooms are cooling down my boiled mushrooms are cooling down broth is cooling down and uh, soon potatoes will be ready and we would be able to mix everything in the blender so it will be good good So far it looks uh, a little bit too dense, so we're going to add a bit of uh, more broth. Okay, so these are our chanterelles with some potatoes. They look pretty good. I decided to add some cheese now and blend it together. Uh, so it will kind of melt later faster so we're going to blend it one more time and mix 
everything with the cream in a pot. Meanwhile, let's try to fry our bacon in the same pan. I'm not washing it. There's no reason. Okay, so we're going to put uh, the pot on the stove and so far it is very thick. If it's thick like this, you should uh, lower the heat because otherwise it's going to boil up and uh, there will be splashes all over <laughs> your kitchen. So I'm going to add uh, food... Uh, what food? Cream. Basically cooking cream. Uh, it is 13% fat in this cream. So here I have half a liter. Here I have uh, maybe this much. It's maybe like 150 milliliters. And uh, we're going to mix it. You can uh, use maybe th uh, thicker cream, like whisping cream. But... Uh, you can dilute it with water. For me, uh, I will just have to use more cream. So far, I don't know. Put like that one and half, okay, two thirds of this. So we're going to stir it and make, actually I'm going to add, I think, all of it. Let's add all. So some of you might ask, like, okay, Ina, if you only have like family of two, why have you cooked so much? It's like two liters of soup. And the answer is very easy. I'm going to freeze it in the Ziploc bags just because it will be easy. After the soup will completely cool down, I'm going to pour it in the Ziploc bags and put flat in the freezer. It will freeze and you could get your chanterelle soup any time of the year, even when there are no chanterelles without any hustle. So you cook once, but but you enjoy it at least twice. It looks like pretty good consistency. Some parts, oh, it's still cheese, okay. And cheese will, will melt later. So far, uh, the, it is quite tasteless, so we will need to add spices. <laughs> Chisnok, garlic, dry garlic. Beaded pepper. I'll add a little bit of uh, turmeric, just for the color. Просто для цвета. So the color won't be like a horrible poo or vomit, so it will be like a little bit better. So slightly more orangish, so it will be nice. If you want, you can add any uh, meat bouillon, uh, like broth, whatever you want. It's your soup, you can make it more delicious. Okay, it's time to try our soup. Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. So uh, usually it's supposed to add some kind of green herbs or something, like parsley would be really good, but I don't have anything, so I'm going to use this dry dill. So I'm going to add some, just a little bit. And mm. it is good. It is so good. It is so 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 good. And actually, with dill, it made it even better. Mm. Delicious.